All right, guys, we don't want to go over to the macro before we are able to print out. We want to have a button here, which helps us to what? To print out these specific invoice. So we should have the button somewhere here. Though it won't show in our printer, so we are cool. So you go for the developer. If you can't find the developer menu, you go for file. And then you go over to options. On the options, you go over to custom ribbon. Just need to ensure you ch check on the developer right here because it's by default unchecked. So you ensure you check it and you go for OK so you can get the developer. So when you click on developer, OK, developer, then you go over to insert. We are going to insert active, insert active X control. So we'll click on the button right there because we've selected a cell already. So we'll put that in here. Right click on it. First of all, I'll go in for command object, edit, and then call that print. When you're done, you can hit outside. It's going to change. Now, the next thing we'll do is right click on it and go for view code. When you go for view code, it comes over here to create a new sheet for you. That's a new document. So what I'm going to do here is paste in all my code right here. Control, copy. That's control C basically. I highlight all of this code and paste. I'm going to put the same thing in my file and show you download it and you use it. Then I'm after that, I'll go for save. All right, guys, after going for save, here it's asking us to save our work book. I've not actually saved it. So I will go for my Excel macro enabled work sheet and go for save to save that for me. All right, so that has been saved nicely. So right now, all I need to do is, okay, uncheck my design view. And I'm good to go. Now when we click on the print, you realize what we got. Okay. So let's print one more. Let's print just one. Because it's gonna print one of this invoice twice. Alright, so let's go for OK. When you go for OK, it's gonna start printing out from your printer, but mine I'm using the PDF like I told you earlier. So go for three save all right four from nest print out save and then now it wants to save my soft copy of the printout because this particular sheet will be updated for the next invoice that will be created. So I'll go for OK. And there I got it. So after my printout, you realize I have it here. So let's check out the printout, which is 3. So when we go for 3, guys, you realize that we have our invoice with the number of 2 now. OK, and everything is intact. So this is for this client. Which is perfect today's data is automatically generated so the everything is generated all the only manual information is the item names the quantity and the unit price all of these will be automatically generated for you including the total cost and i'm sure your client manager and the account number and telephone will remain the same the signed person will remain the same that's just it so every other thing will be generated for you including the id number the cost and to save a lot of time okay so over here let's try that's basically it guys so I'm going to bring in uh, an image in case you want to beautify your your invoice let me use this all right that's way too big eh? let me reduce it put it right here 
Okay. And then um what else? I can change it. So I have um the quantity of this item two dollars bought was rather five. When I go for five and then I press enter, I realize I get updated. Okay, everything is updated including the total amount, the tax, everything. So when I increase, I realize that there's a mistake. They were told that item eight, a unit was unit price was actually 50 not 5 so when you go for 50 and press enter there'll be an update all right and the total cost is 1200 1022 gonna say this so if the if you are given 1100 gonna see this and you press the enter you realize that this is the change that needs to be given to the user that's how you create an automated invoice okay using excel you can use Excel 2013, 2016, 2010, 2007. It would work. Okay, it would definitely work for you. So if you're facing any challenge, you can hit me up in the comment section. You can post a question in the forum. You can check out my blog, vincentechblog.com for more information on these or if you have any issues. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel for more wonderful videos. Cheers. Bye.